Hare Krishna, Devarsh Bala and Ryan. Hare Krishna kids. Welcome. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Dev Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So we have only two kids today. Let's wait for our friends to join in. Mataji, it looks like they're getting paid what they needed to join in the class, like a tab or phone or a laptop. Mm. All, they, all their parents are picking them up from school today. Correct, Ryan. Correct. You are a very good boy. You joined first. So I am so proud of you. So good job for Ryan. And good job for Devarsh Bala. Both. Yes, good job for Rinda too. Good job for Tulsi Manjari. Anna, who is this? Tulsi. Mataji, Mataji, I, Mataji my, my camera is not working because there's a problem with the laptop. I know, I know. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. No problem. Without camera, that's fine. It works. More important is to listen the class, right? It doesn't matter if you have camera or not. Are we listening to the class? That is what more important. Right? Are you all listening to yeah. the class? Yeah. Okay. Krishna joined. Krishna, can you come on the camera if possible? Okay. Let's start with the prayers. Om one day, hum Shri Guru Shri Adhubatam Kabalam Shri Guru Vajabhan Shri Rupam Sakujan Sahagana Raghunam Tam Platinum Amaitam Tam Shabam Bhai Janatam Shri Tahidam Krishna Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pana Pada Sahakana Lalita Vakra Hey Krishna, Karuna, Sindhu, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Okay, Krishna. what is the first quality you see on the screen? What is the first quality you see on the screen? You know reading, right? Devas Bala, do you know reading? No. No, no my sorry. You don't know reading, okay. Its first one is beautiful futures of entire body we learned about it. Okay, next, Livan knows reading. Second one, Livan. Marked with all auspicious characteristics. Yes, right? He is having a lot of uh, auspicious characteristics on his body, like on feet. He has so many symbols. 
we learned each symbol how it is great then we have isha isha means vikram and kashi do you know reading vikram and kashi yes mother ji i do but i doesn't okay that's fine tell me what is third one extremely pleasing wonderful he is extremely pleasing right he pleases everyone he's so sweet the next one fourth one who wants to Mata, say that mata ji can i go yes ryan go ahead mata i don't know what to say dad but you know you know you, you do you know what is exactly that mean like you know what for excellent ah excellent good job ryan you did it okay next one kavrinda you tell me what is the fifth one fifth one mm. um strong he's really strong mm. and that that he's also rama right everybody knows he's also rama so rama can lift up the big boy right because he's krishna is not ah. the, the formal rama yes next one ever youthful right he cannot become old now he's the seventh one days. Okay, who is going to say me the seventh one? Wonderful ling, linguistic. What does it mean? Wonderful linguistic means he what? He knows all the languages. Yes, he knows lots of different languages. Yeah. He's truthful, right? He's yeah. always truthful in his life. Whatever Krishna is saying is hundred percent truth. What a what about Krishna saying like uh, Krishna eats butter and he says that oh Maya I did not eat butter no no I did not steal butter is that true? So how do no, we say that Krishna is no. truth all the time? No, how do we say? How did then why, how can I say that Krishna is saying truth? Can anybody explain? Because he will say I ate the butter. He will not say I ate the butter. He says I did not eat. He is the naughty boy. but then you know there is a meaning for that in this world everything is belonging to krishna right you are thinking that this butter is mine but it's not yours it's actually belonging to krishna so if somebody is eating their own food will they say will it is called as stealing no no if ryan is eating his own lunch box will is it called stealing no right no it is his own lunch box so same way krishna is eating his own food it is everything we are getting in this material world is given by him only and one more thing you know if i call ryan and say eat my lunch box and then can i call him can i call ryan as a steal no right. yeah in the same way gopis are asking gopis are asking krishna please come and eat please eat 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 and at the same time again in the back of him telling oh you steal me you stole my stuff but actually you know they are teasing him they are only calling krishna eat eat our butter and then they are teasing that you you stealed our butter okay next one is krishna's talks are all always pleasing talks very nicely right yeah more now i hear some background noise okay let's go to the next one what is this 10th 10th one what is the 10th one vava dukha means he is expert in speaking very very expert in speaking and he is fluent also in speaking and he can argue with anyone he can make anyone to come to the conclusion that whatever krishna says is correct so let's see some some things about this okay i think today we did not do hari krishna right i did not give everybody to say hari krishna okay that's why we will do one thing we will do three three kids together today Ryan, Devarsh, Bala, Krishna. Three, three kids together. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very good. Madha and uh, who is this? Small kid. Madha, Tushita, and Mira. Three kids. It's a mutual one. Three kids. Da ha 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 da
Hey, you sing Hare Krishna. You should hear only yours. Good. Okay. Palvi. Palvi, Livan, and Subhadra and Giridari. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Good job, Palvit. Welcome to the call, Palvit. You were not there in the beginning. Okay, Isha and Vika and Kasi. And we did I forget anybody? Vikram and Kasi. That's it. Okay, Balavrinda and Vikram and Kasi. Go ahead. Three. Can you go two times? Go two times. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Vikram and Kasi. Uh, can we go two times? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Vikram and Kasi and Brinda. Go ahead. Start Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Wait, what? Wait, do you have to read? Mataji. Yeah, you want to see Hare Krishna Ma Mantra? Wait, Brinda. Wait, Brinda. Wait, Brinda. No, no, wait. Don't, 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 don't sing. Now see, Vikram and Kasi, you can sing now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Good job, good job, Vikram and Kasi. Thank you for singing. Let's go to the topic. As we have revised what all we covered, now today's topic is 10th one. 10th quality of Krishna, that is Vava Dukha, which is called, he's expert in speaking and he's very fluent in speaking. Let's see what does it mean. See how Krishna is very grateful. He's very expert. He can make convince everyone whatever he's saying is right. Like this pastime. What is this pastime? Anybody? That he's I know Matha, that he wanted that the Govind and Hill is the one that gives us everything because he gives us because he's saying that we can worship the rain or, or the sun. In, and because that's the time that they were going to go um through this festival every year for Indra and Krishna wanted to worship only Govardhan Hill, so they agree with Krishna that. Yeah, that is what Ryan. Good job, Ryan. They agree with Krishna. See, let's say now um Ryan's mom. No, and we can take the example of Devash. Devash mom wants to do some. Um, some Indra puja or some demigod puja, okay? And Devash goes and say, Mommy, Mommy, don't do this puja. Only do Krishna puja. Will uh, his mom listen? His mom, like, if his mom is not a devotee, what she will do? She just slap on him and say, okay, go. You are a small boy. Go sit there. Let me do what I'm doing. I'm an adult, right? Every parent will say that. Uh, nobody, nobody... And the uh, parents never listen to children. shouldn't slap no one. That's... A devotee, that's called a, a non-devotee action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a non-devotee action. But when kids are naughty, we need to do some time. Not all the time. Yes, yes Ryan. Right. Yes, Ryan, you are right. But and sometimes oh, I, I also get, get, I also me, get that me, from my it. uncle or my mom. Yes, listen to me. Even when Krishna was naughty, Mother Ishoda hold the stick. It's, it's compulsory sometimes when we need to control our children. Like, mommy is very busy in doing something and you go and tell mommy, mommy, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this, do this. Definitely mommy gets irritated, right? So when mommy gets irritated, you, 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 might, you might get some scoldings or you might get some punishment. It's, it happens. It's only to correct the child, not to just show that, oh, I, am, uh, I wanted to beat you, like hurt someone or something like that. 
it's done only out of love to correct someone do you understand do you understand raya yes okay it's not also, to hurt it's I not to get, hurt someone I, yeah i also get that sometimes yes if if not devotees uh, that's true we 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 should not harm anybody here we are not harming anybody we are trying to correct it uh it is also there in the scriptures according to the scripture there is lalana tadana tadana means when they are not listening we have to use some other thing either we have to scare them either we have to tell some uh, harsh words and make them correct or we need to use some time our hands also if if that is necessary it's not that's not compulsory rule okay only in the stages stages of correcting a child it is when it is needed if you are good boy nobody will correct you okay let's move on to the topic so here what what is the topic saying is as as uh, ryan said that how everybody were agreeing to krishna's word even though krishna was very small boy 7 year old the indra puja was doing for many years but then as soon as krishna said they said okay we will not do indra puja we will do govardhan puja only so that is a greatness that is a greatness of krishna's words when he speaks everybody can agree and in the same way we can see that krishna when speaks to udava udava is telling this what he is saying is uh, udava is telling that his experience whenever krishna speaks automatically it is so attractive even though opposite person is a demon he will also agree to krishna it's like that because that is krishna that is his greatness and also whenever he speaks we get the solution for all the problems not only for our problem it's a problems of a solution for all the whole world that is what krishna's krishna's words and when krishna speaks he speaks very less but the meanings are very deep to understand them we need to we need to have a so much of knowledge so much of realization from inside and outside so krishna's speech is always pleasing to our heart so moving on to the next this is the sloka from bhagavad gita Vrinda, can you come and recite this? Yes, ma'am. And uh, Subhadra Giridhari also together slowly. Wait, Subhadra Giridhari, are you ready? Yes, Madhuri. Slowly. Arudvega karamakya sadhya. Arudvega karamakya sevavan priyavahi tamchayat sadhya ya bhasham chaya. Nirdari, can you read the translation for me? Yes, Mataji. A starty of speech consists in speaking words that are truthful, pleasing, beneficial, and not agitating to others, and also in regularly reciting Vedic literature. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Yes, very good. So, what does it mean? we should austerity of the speech means not just not just not just stop speaking speaking only the good things speaking only the pleasing to others speaking truth speaking always good about others speaking about krishna only speaking whatever is told in the scriptures not just speaking from anywhere else oh i come and say this word that word from you know i speak from the shila prabhupad books i speak from bhagavatam i speak from every every literature that is present i cannot speak whatever is coming from my mind i should only speak which is coming from the scriptures okay then again uh, here it is saying that there are lots and lots of scriptures right why are these scriptures are there so that we can read and we can speak those things that is called the austerity of speech Speech, uh, speech, austerity of speech means not that I just keep my mouth shut all the time. Okay, I'm Krishna consciousness. Krishna said not to speak. Okay, I'll be quiet. No, uh, it is not like that. Here, austerity for the speech is speaking only Krishna consciousness, speaking only that is related to Krishna. Okay, then I go to school, Mata Ji. What can I do? Yes, you go to school. You talk only which is necessary for your subject, not unnecessary talk. oh this girl is like that oh that boy is like that this boy is doing this one okay this boy is doing that one no we don't need that we we talk only to the subject we will do our work and we'll come back and we'll talk about krishna okay 
it's it's not like okay i'm a devotee of krishna i can't speak anything to others okay i only speak to krishna yes you have to speak to krishna but at the same time we have to do our duty also when we go to the school we do speak about the subject and when we are at home we do speak about krishna that is called austerity of speech yeah the same thing it is said that we don't talk unnecessary things what happens if we talk the unnecessary things what well, when we talk unnecessary you're not a, you're a non devotee ah and uh, yes we are a non devotee we will become automatically non devotee by our talk and the other thing is our time is gone we, see now the time is 5:30 let's say i'm keeping on talking oh, okay this one is nice that one is nice oh then it is 5:40 will that 10 minutes come back to me no right it's gone and what happens while talking like this it is going to harm me because i am going to waste my all time and then i'll become one day old i will go again to the hellish planet or you know suffering somewhere i'll be suffering so like uh, uh, always there is in nectar of in nectar of instruction or in a uh, some very shopanishad uh, there is one example of this uh, where this uh, snake um, not snake the crow or uh, the rat rat makes the sound in the field what happens is when it makes that sound when it makes that sound it is inviting the snake to come and eat and snake will eat one day so same way when we talk bad things we think that oh we are enjoying right a moment but then later we are going to suffer for it so we should not speak bad like a rat like a like a don like a donkey he tr- he was being foolish and ran out of his farm and then he wore a tiger skin and, and and then he scared all the people and got beaten in when he, and the people heard his heard the donkey sound and they beat him up a lot and he and he's very he said ah ow ow okay 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 So like you will get here. so you so you will okay, also okay. get that okay 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 Ryan Ryan let's finish the topic please okay Shila Prabhu Pad was the first spiritual master right he came into this uh, in the Kali Yuga and he gave uh, Krishna conscious to all over the world and his lectures his translations work everything is a uh, like so heart touching it's melting the deep peoples and it is making us Uh, from getting away from these sufferings, that that is a uh, helpful. That is a real silence. What did Shila Prabhupada do? He was really silent. Means he was really silent for the material things. He was spiritually loud. His voice for spirituality is so high. For materiality, he is not speaking anything. He is only giving Krishna consciousness that helps to everyone. Makes happy. So that is the quality of Krishna. And the same once, what happens is when you become a pure devotee, these qualities will automatically will come to a um, the Krishna's quality will automatically come to a pure devotee. Like we will see one more past time of Shri Lalaprabhat. Let me just do. Like here, this past time, you see what is the past past time here? Past time? Can anybody explain what is the picture shows? I know, Mataji. I know. I know the almost. Mat, I know what. Not Ryan. Ryan. Ryan will be quiet for some time. Let's see how Ryan maintains the silence. Okay, Subhadra so, and Giridhar. Mataji, Arjuna, and Krishna are also. Arjuna is like inquiring all the questions in the Bhagavad Gita, and Krishna is answering all all the answers, all the inquiries. Um. Um. uh to uh, Ar- arjuna so he explained in detail so in the mm-hmm. uh, battlefield of kurukshetra uh kshetra then he explained uh that we are not this body we are the okay, soul okay 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 stop stop get it right stop yes thank you palvit you why did you raise your hand do you have anything to say no just saying that okay okay See, uh, uh, Giridhar has covered maximum what I have to speak. So this picture is Krishna and Arjuna. Arjuna is trying to put his arguments. When Krishna told him to fight, he is saying, Arjuna is saying, no, no, I don't want to fight. My grandfather is there. My teacher is there. My relatives are there. My friends are there. No, no, I will not fight. 
But then when Krishna started to speak to him, just by Krishna speaking, immediately agreed. He said, Krishna, I am your eternal servant. I am your disciple. You become my guru. You direct me. As you direct, I will go. So that is the pleasing way. That is that. That's how expert Krishna is to make agree everyone to do what he is wanted to do. He wanted us to do. He, he can make us. He can make us come to a conclusion that whatever Krishna is saying is right. So now Arjuna was very confused. He don't wanted to fight at all. He don't wanted to fight. He was telling all his reasons in the whole first chapter. He was keep on telling. What happened in the second chapter? Second chapter, seventh sloka, two point seven. I didn't learn panya dosha, pata sabha, prachya mukandar samudra cheda, yache achaya, dharmi tanne, shishya se hamvadi mangla panya dham. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Subhadra and Giridhari. So here it is said that then Krishna, then Arjuna accepted Krishna as a spiritual master, and then at the same time he was from then he was listening whatever Krishna said to him. Then he or the next past time, what is this past time? Krishna caught just uh, caught by eating butter. As I explained you already, right? Krishna is truthful. Now here Krishna is eating butter, and um, Mother Ishoda is saying that oh you ate butter, yeah, I caught you red-handedly. Then Krishna says, no, 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 I did not eat any butter. Why will I eat my butter? Other people butter, I have 9 lakhs cows. I have so much of butter in the house. Why will I eat? So, you know, he's so pleasing. At the end, uh, Madhureshwada says, okay, 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 you did not eat butter. That's fine. Leave it, leave it. Like that. So, he's very pleasing in talk. He can, he can make a, and also he's expert in talking. He can make convince to others and he's very fluent in talking while these kind of conversations. And there is another pastime of Srila Prabhupada, how these qualities are also uh, there in the pure devotees. Whatever Krishna's qualities are there, are there in pure devotees also. We will see one pastime of Srila Prabhupada. See here, Srila Prabhupada, I, uh, I pasted a devotee's picture wrong, but then I will say the devotee name. I grieve a Prabhu, I Srila Prabhupada. So I grieve a Prabhu for Vrindavan temple, there is no president. So then uh, Srila Prabhupada says that you become president. Oh, before even he tells to him, he will tell to someone else, okay, I'm making Hayagriva as a president. But Hayagriva Prabhu don't want it to become president. Because he was scared. If I become president, I have to do a lot of things. Maybe I will do offense. I'm not qualified. Like that. So then what he did before even Prabhupada comes to New Vrindavan, he came to know this news. And then he started preparing all his notes. Okay, if Prabhupada asked me, I will tell I, I'm not going to become um, president because of this reason, because of that reason. All the notes he wrote and kept. And Prabhupada came and asked, Would you become, do you want to become sannyas? Then immediately, Haigriya Prabhu said, Sanyas? No, 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 I will not become sannyas. So then, uh, um, a lot of arguments between, Krish, uh, between Prabhupada and Haigriya Prabhu. And then finally, Prabhupada says, Okay, if you don't want it to become. Uh, Sanyas at least become a temple president. Then uh, Haigriya Prabhu says, yes, 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 I want to become temple president. I want to become temple president. See, initially he wanted to say that I don't want to become temple president, but Prabhupada made him to become a temple president by his talk. So that is the greatness. That is the greatness of a pure devotee. That is greatness of Krishna. When you become a devotee of Krishna, automatically those pure qualities will develop into us also. When you are really pure, to that level of Srila Prabhupada and all our Guru Vargas, slowly we will develop this kind of qualities. Okay, I think we will move to the today's bhajan. Okay, Sarajanandini Mataji, welcome back. First of all, we were missing you. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Over to you, Mataji, please. Where were you? To my mom. Yesterday you. only she was asking where is Raghav and Prahalat. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to be back and to see you all. Uh, and uh, kids, you've been learning uh, wonderful uh, songs, I believe. Um, Thank you so much, Ji. Hare Krishna. So we are in the fourth. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. This is Madhav. 
Hare Krishna, Madha. Hare Krishna, Pallet. Hare Krishna, Ryan. Good to see all of you. Shubhadra, Giridhari, Vrinda, Vikram Kashi, Livan, Devash, Krishna, Tushita, Meera. So nice to see you all. Okay, so are we all ready to learn the um, the song? The... Yes, we all learn. Would somebody like to quickly? Uh, would somebody like to sing any one part? The first stanza, especially Yashamati Nandana. Yes. Who wants to sing? What you learned last week? Okay, Madhav. Yes, Madhav, please go ahead. Yashamati Nandana, Pachupalu Nagala, Kukula Lanjana Gana, Kupi Palanandana, Madhav Na, Mano Hala Kali Adamana, Pidana. Very beautiful. Thank you so much, Madhav. That was so nice. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, if somebody wants to sing the second part, or Mataji, yes, I read. Yes, Shubhadra, Gujadari, go ahead. Prajojana Palana, Ashura Kulana Shana, Nanda Nagodana Rahala, Govinda Madhavana, Anita Tashkara, Shundara Nanda Gopal. Okay, nice. Then the next part. Okay, so today's part is um, this stanza, the fourth stanza. So let's continue. Yamuna Tata Chara. Please repeat, everyone. Rasa Rasika Kripa Moya Rasa Rasika Kripa Moya Yamuna Tata Chara Yamuna Tata Chara Gopi Basanahara Gopi Basanahara Rasa Rasika Kripa Moya Rasika Rasa Kripa Moya First word is Rasa, okay? Rasa Rasika Kripa Moya Rasika Kripa Moya Lina da Vallabha. Lina da Vallabha. Lina Vana Natabara. Lina Vana Natabara. Vata Tivi no Soda Vasha. Vati Vi no Soda Vasha. The, uh, the ashrayas A uh, goes long, okay? But the TV no da ashraya. The TV no da ashraya. Lila da vallabha. Lila da vallabha. Lila da vallabha. Lila da vallabha. Okay, let's sing together. 
Yamuna Kakachara, Babu is in a gilder. Who wants to read? Me, Mother, read me. Oh, can you hear your name? Ryan. Yes, Ryan, please go ahead. Krishna wanders bond his, his, along the banks of the river Yamura. He told his, his grandparents of the garments. garments of the young Dharmas is, is of Raja, uh, who the bad baffin is there. Uh, he denies the better is a race, then he he merciful. To, he is very merciful to the love, lover. The behold the, the stream Radha. Uh, the great dancer of Rindavan, the uh, shelter of, of only revenge, uh, Daksha Bhakti in the Noda. Very nice. Thank you, Ryan. So, um, in this stanza, uh, Bhakti Vinoda, uh, Bhakti Vinoda. Uh, Thakur is describing about how Krishna performs wonderful pastimes along the banks of River Yamuna. He wanders along the banks of River Yamuna and he they do a lot of uh, play and sports there also. So it's a very uh, famous spot for them, Krishna and his uh, cowherd friends. Then uh, he also performed this pastime of uh, stealing the garments of the young damsels of Raja. Um, then he also does uh, Rasa Leela. He dances. He's the best dancer of Vrindavan. And also one time he danced on top of Kalia's head, remember? So he is a wonderful dancer of Vrindavana. And he's the lover of Srimati Radharani. And uh, he is very merciful to everyone because he shows a lot of uh, compassion towards the people of Vrindavana. That's why he kills all the demons, remember? So he is the only shelter and refuge for not only uh, the author, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, but for all of us, for the Vrindavan Vasis, for for us, for everyone, he is the only shelter and refuge. But the great mood of these acharyas who write the poem, they feel that only they are very fallen and they are uh, very humble in writing that, you know, um, 
you are my only refuge. So that's how they uh, usually end the songs. So wonderful song. And uh, do we have time to repeat? Yes, I think. Uh, are we using break rooms, Mataji, or are we just doing it together here? Maybe we could just try here. So I will call out, yeah, I will call out, uh, maybe two or three can do together. Or should we just repeat it once together? Yeah, I see Madhav has raised hand. So I'm going to call out everyone. So yeah, Mataji, maybe everybody together can sing because only three more minutes are there, right? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. So maybe Madhav can sing alone and then everybody can together sing. Let Madhav raise his hand. Okay, Madhav, can you please sing? Yeah. Yeah. Yamuna Tata Chara Yamuna Tata Chara Gopi Basana Hara Gopi Basana Hara Rasa Kripa Moya Kripa Moya Shri Radha Vallabha Shri Radha Vallabha Brinda Bana Nata Bara Brinda Bana Nata Bara Bhakti Vinoda Bhakti Vinoda Ra Ashraya Ashraya Thank you so much, Mother. It's such a pleasure listening to you. Okay, so kids, we don't have a lot of time. So maybe all of you can, we can sing together. Okay? I'm going to say one, two, three, and we'll start. One, two, three. <laughs> This wonderful singing this song with you. We can end here because we have the next class starting soon. So maybe we can end here with the Vaishnava Pranam Mantra. Everybody together, please. Nice to see you, Mataji. Hari Bol. Nice to see all the kids. Bye bye.